Good morning, CNC students. Uh, today we're going to talk about our MT200 class uh, multi axis machining and programming. Uh, and we want to talk today about how to set our work coordinates in a five axis mill. Uh, the mill we have here is a VF2 super speed with the five axis trunnion mounted to it. And this creates some unique challenges to setting work coordinates. So we want to take a piece of material like this and set a set of work coordinates and end up making a part like this. The problem with the traditional way we set work coordinates is as we pick one point and our part rotates to cut, that X, Y, and Z coordinate is also moving. So how do we control that? Well, the way we're going to do it uh, in our CNC machine is we're going to program everything off of the center of rotation. And the center of rotation on our, on our machine is going to be the center of our five axis trunnion table and also the um, center of rotation in Z, which is going to be the difficult part to pick up, from where this trunnion rotates around. So practically, how do we do that? So the first thing we have to know and do is we have to know that our trunnion table is flat. If we don't start with a flat table, all of our readings are going to be off because everything will be tilted on an angle. So we're going to put an indicator in our machine. And we're going to take that indicator and we're going to run it across our table and we're going to make sure that our table is laid perfectly flat. Once our table is flat, we can set our A-axis work coordinate. So normal way you set work coordinates, we're going to go to our, um, our offset page. We get our offsets there, pick the offset we want, which in this case we can use uh, G54. And we're going to move over to our A-axis offset and hit part zero set. That'll set our A axis flat. Once our A axis has been set flat, we're going to pick up the center of our table because that's the point that our trunnion rotates around. So our part, as it sits on the table, is going to rotate on our table. It doesn't matter if it's off center or right on center, either one. So we're going to use our coaxial indicator We're going to move it into position just like we would on a three axis mill. And we're going to use that to sweep the center of our rotation of our table. Because it's the center of a bore, that gives us both our X and our Y uh, G54 work coordinate, and it's the center of rotation of our table. So once we've swept that point and we're sure that it's correct, we're going to set our work offsets for G54. So here's our work offset. We're going to set our X in our Y table. And we already know what that is because this table's already been swept. Pretty simple process to this point, right? Make sure our table's flat, sweep the center of our trunnion, uh, and that, that trunnion table will give us uh, the center of rotation and give us the X and Y coordinate. Now, the part that's more difficult it's picking up our z-axis. Let's remove our indicator and I'll show you why. So a lot of people will make the assumption incorrectly that the center of rotation of our table is going to be on the top of our table. And actually that's not correct. The center of rotation is on the center line between these two bearings on each end of our trunnion. So as our table sweeps, as our table sweeps up and down in, in our B axis, um, the center of rotation is actually off of the top of the table. So we need to find that point. What's the difference between the center of those bearings and the top of our table? And here's how we do that. 
now. So, um, we're going to take we're going to take our table. Now we know what z what zero is in in uh, in b. And we're going to stand our table up vertically at 90 degrees. We'll use an edge finder to come down and edge find this at a, this would be a positive 90 degree setting. We'll find that distance from the center out. And then we'll rotate that table back to a, to a negative 90 degrees. And we'll use our edge finder to find that edge. And what we're measuring is the dif difference. The difference when it's at this angle, we measure there. Then it rotates to this angle, and we measure there. We're measuring the gap between those two. That gap tells us, when we're back at zero, how far the table is from the center of those bearings. Once we have that number, we can use that number like we set a tool offset, and we're going to set a Z height for our G54. In our five axis machine, we set all of our tool heights to this side of the trunnion. So to find our Z height, we're going to measure from this height to our tabletop when we're at zero, and we're going to add that shift amount. That's going to give us a height from this uh, block down to our center of rotation. Just like we said, our, our G54, X, Y, uh, and A axis, we're also going to set our a Z axis height. And in this machine, we already know that Z height is three, uh, about a negative 3.711 inches from that height. Now, when we program our machine, we're going to program our machine as our material is at the center of rotation. So every time that rotates on that center, we'll know exactly where our part material is stationed. With that information, we can put that in MasterCam and we can use our, uh, our software to calculate all the points. Hope this was helpful. Uh, stay tuned, more videos to come, thanks.